In Jefferson County, traffic at the airport is going skyward. As News 9's Gage Golding reports, an increase of air traffic can mean more money in the community. Traffic at the Jefferson County Air Park has been taking off, but it's not because of planes like this one. The number of corporate jets landing and taking off here is soaring. Over the past two years, we're starting to see a, a large increase of uh, corporate jets flying in the airport. The uptick in traffic means an increase in revenue. While it's free for planes to land and take off at the airport, every aircraft needs two things to fly, a pilot and fuel. Jet fuel sales have increased by 50% from 2018 to 2019 and 2019 to this year, an increase of 35% on top of that. It's an indication of increased growth and it's just a good economic driver for the whole region. While the air park is making more money, so are local businesses. Those visitors are renting cars, dining at restaurants, and more importantly, doing business in the area, which leads to jobs. Everyone who flies into this airport uh, for business is bringing money to many different industries. The increase in traffic comes as the airport extended the runway, purchased new hangars, and is building another. A new automated weather system and LED approach lighting to help pilots land are also in the works. Congressman Bill Johnson said in a statement to News 9, the upward trend at the air park is, quote, another example of the economic resurgence we are seeing in eastern Ohio. The congressman also saying it's another reason he supports the county and zoning board's efforts to protect the air park from a potential landfill. Congressman Johnson went on to say, quote, I expect this increase in activity at the airport to continue. This year alone, more than 3,000 flights have taken off, which is on pace to beat last year's total of 4,000. With the improvements slated to be completed in the near future, airport officials say that the sky is the limit when it comes to aviation here in Jefferson County. Reporting for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.